the Director General of the World Nuclear Association, came to China for a tour of China's nuclear plants and was speechless. Amazement, stunned by China's advanced capabilities and incredible industrial scale. But she is not new to the job. She's been director of the World Nuclear Association for five years. We've quoted reports from this association about China's nuclear industry, but seeing it for herself makes it all real. Maybe it's that. The progress China has achieved happened despite stringent U.S. sanction. We've noted before that whenever we see those words in that order, change despite to because of, because once we get that, it's not ironic that the suspensions of equipment sales backfired spectacularly. It was a logical consequence. The sanctions forced Beijing to build a completely self-sufficient industry. That industry now is an unattainable benchmark of efficiency, unattainable by Western countries, that is. Our own nuclear companies were warning this might happen as our suppliers were being locked out of its huge market and that China would figure out how to make do without them. So now everything is upside down. Today, it is our countries that suffer from supply chain problems. And so it is we who cannot build nuclear plants anymore.